What's up, trendsetter gang? Ooh, I'm reaching. Y'all, I'm just having a little bit of leftovers from yesterday that my daughter made me. I showed y'all a little snippet of the Mother's Day dinner. Um, I have more to show you, but I just thought I would show you. Um, I would have, you know, my little leftover mukbang, mukbang, or whatever you want to call it. So... And I think I forgot to say on the video we had shrimp and scallops, but I think my daughter has said it in the background. But um, yes, um, I have my plate up here. It's some um, corn, um, red mashed potatoes, a couple of more crab legs, and a salad. So why don't y'all just get you some seafood and some some kind of food and just come and eat with me. And this is my water. Y'all see I tried to chill my glass. It's, it's getting, it's defrosting now. So <laughs> this is water. Yep, yep. And I, I'm going to put it down here on the ground because I don't want to knock it down like I did last time. Yep, so let me say my grace. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food. I thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. And anybody that's eating with me, we thank you for the food that we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies in Jesus' name. Amen. Time to eat. So what's up, trendsetter again? Y'all tell me below in the comments what y'all did for y'all mom. Russell um, Wilson, Sierra's husband, Sierra from the A-Town, she um, married Russ, um, Russell Williams, uh, Wilson, and he bought his mom a, um, a house, which I thought was nice, and they showed her reaction and everything, and it was cool. I thought that was really nice. She was so surprised. And I have like a vinaigrette um, dress in here. And some, a lot of times I do a vinaigrette dressing where I, I make it. I buy it to make it. And... You can do it with a little oil, a little olive oil, olive oil, and a little lime juice or lemon juice. Some people do vinegar. That's all how you want to do it. Let me just tell y'all what I think about. I wasn't gonna say nothing else about this, but I am. I'm, I just decided I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, I feel like Christopher Darden, the prosecuting attorney that was in the OJ case. I mean. In the black community, he's not, you know, accepted and loved because of being the prosecuting attorney in the O.J. Simpson case. But I mean, you ran to Nipsey Hussle case. I don't know what I think. He, I think he expected to get another notch under his belt. Cause he's getting old. And it's nothing wrong with that. You know, you want to go out 
you want to have some high profile celebrity cases under your belt so you can get a big name and have this huge legacy and I get it which I feel like that was his aim because I feel like he jumped in the Nipsey Hustle case and didn't didn't really know what was going on and I think now that he knows what's going on he wanted out and we like uh no nah, you wanted you wanted the case go ahead on you you don't want the case now why you don't want the case He'll probably never say. But you've been in the game long enough. And when you were younger, you took the OJ case. I'm sure your family was threatened even then. But probably not on the... Probably not on the... Um, on the level that is being threatened now. I just think he needs to sit down and bow out. He's getting old. He, the OJ case was your last case. I mean, high profile. You know, I think he needs to retire and enjoy his family. Retire and enjoy your family. I don't know what he thought he was going to get done. Being involved with this dude. I just don't know. I don't even know why he ran to the case so quick. He must have not done his research and checked it out. To just run in it so quick and now he wants out. I'm not understanding unless he just. He wanted to have get some hoopla. I think he. As an, uh, an experienced attorney. He should have already done his homework. And knew whether or not that was going to be a case. That he was going to be able to take. Before he even went public with taking the case. I know a little bit about legal stuff because my dad was a, um, a lawyer and I practiced, I mean, I, ain't, I practiced, Lord Jesus, no, I never practiced, I studied legal, legal studies when I, um, when I went to, um, when I was in school, so. I don't know every single thing, but I know enough that he should have already done his homework. But unless he just wanted to be a part of the hoopla and wanted his name to be attached to something. I don't know. People do things for weird reasons. That probably don't even make sense to them sometimes. <laughs> Because it definitely didn't make sense to me. But it's my opinion. Nobody asked, but I'm just saying. But anyway, um, Trent said again, I hope y'all had a lovely Mother's Day. Trent said the moms. Because I definitely did. I got some more footage to show y'all. <clears throat> because that was just part of my day. My daughter had other surprises. 
just when I thought I had it, I knew everything that was going on, she came up with some more stuff, so. Let me just say, it was a wonderful picnic. Had a seafood ball picnic. Man. That's what it was. And it was so good. One thing as a mom I can say is I'm glad to see the fruits of my labor. Like I said before, she's grown, my daughter. You know, I remember doing everything for her and to have something done for me. Well, she does things for me all the time, so let me not say that. But mothers, we appreciate it. When the coin is flipped, because we used to do everything for them and still do. You just appreciate, you know, the fruits of your labor. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Just having my little leftovers. You know, anytime we do, if we do like seafood and stuff, We'll just go ahead on and have them because you got to, you know, eat them up or it'll be in the house. Making the house smell like fish. <coughs> and it's something you got to eat right away. And you don't want to throw them away because seafood is uh, <laughs> not cheap. We had scallops. We had shrimp. Oh, it was so good. And crab legs. That's my. I told y'all seafood is my thing. Like I'm working on. I'm working on the seafood. Working on it. I am working on it, honey. If y'all wonder why I'm beating my head and y'all don't hear no music, it's in my head. <laughs> um, that's it's a song by Neo and um, I think it's Pitbull. It's talk about having the time of my life. Or I, he says, I want the time of my life. I remember hearing that when I went to Las Vegas for my birthday a couple years ago, and it was like what I call an uplifted song. And it just says something, you know, ooh, I want the time of my life or something like that. And I love it. Because I can hear it in my head. I just love it. <clears throat> that, that was good. Now my phone want to be going off while I'm on camera. Yep. Here we go. Eating seafood is going to be hard, but I think I can do it. That's what makes me want to do it because I know how hard it's going to be. I know how hard it's going to be for me. <laughs> I ate my lipstick off, huh? All this sauce. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all haven't had the Be Love sauce. I don't know what you're doing. 
You must be living under a rock. Get somebody you know to make it for you, or you can make it yourself. She got the, re the recipe on the video. Underneath it, she got all the ingredients. Go get it and make it. You will not regret it. But I really want to taste the one she going to sell. Because when she do it, when she do the, um, when she comes to people's houses, she makes a different version of the sauce. So we're making a version, and then she has a version that she's selling. So, get into it, y'all. That's the only thing I can say. It's good sauce. Our version that we're eating is good, and I know her version is good. The one that she is going to be selling. I want her to make it for me in person, and I want the one that she going to sell. So, I'm going to probably buy one. I already know. You know I got to like seafood because my daughter asked me, she said, Mama, would you rather go out? And at first I was like, girl, we're supposed to be doing a, um, a seafood video. Let's just go on and do that. But I didn't know she was going, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what she was going to do. I had just told her whatever. She asked me what I wanted to do. I gave her my thoughts. She gave me some thoughts. Not all of them. She gave me some thoughts. And I think she put a little bit of everything in it. Like a little bit of what she wanted, a little bit of what I wanted, and combined them or whatever. But I can tell from the you know the other video I'm gonna do for y'all. Y'all can see. But She knows that I put seafood up above anything. I always say that. Even before I know what she's going to do, I'm going to put it up. If it's seafood, if I don't know nobody that can cook it good, or, you know, like when we go out to eat, I don't want it out to eat. I want it. We can just get it at, you know, go to Earth Fair and get it from there. For those of you that don't know what Earth Fair is, Earth Fair is like a, a grocery store that has um, organic meats and, and vegetables and foods. They got organic everything. They like whole foods. I think it's just probably more, more whole foods. Um... Maybe more Whole food chains than it is Earth Fair. If I'm, I don't know how many Earth Fairs there are. And I think Earth Fair is kind of like smaller in, in like certain areas. But yeah, I, I've seen more Whole food chains than I have Earth Fair. So I'm just gonna, telling y'all what I, what I know and what I've seen actually. Yeah. Oh yes, honey. Gotta get it all out. Mm-hmm. Now 
I'm about to work on this corn. All this goodness from this sauce. Yeah, I got it. And it's so much in it. You know, you got your onions, you got garlic. And when you get in B Love sauce, when you make it and you eating it, you see my lips greasy. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so glad my daughter's a chef because I don't have to um I do not have to cook. Sometimes. But for the most part, I'm, I'm cooking my vegan and al alkaline stuff. Or occasionally, I do my own little seafood boil. <coughs> Yep. Let me get my trusty water. Mm. That is so good. <clears throat> that was good. Mother's Day leftover seafood boil picnic dinner mook bonger. Mook banger. It was a banger. For real. It was so good. And it was so good again again today. So I just finished it up. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed your lunch with me. Love you, trendsetter gang. And... Ooh, that is so good. I need some more water. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Hydration. I might do some coconut water. Oh, yeah. Y'all should try that too, some coconut water. But we'll talk about that later. I just want to say I enjoyed my leftovers <clears throat> from my Mother's Day seafood boil, picnic dinner, mook banger. Yay. And I'm glad y'all came to eat with me. And I was really hungry. I didn't really have that much to talk about, but I talked about what I what was on my mind and what I want to talk about with y'all. So I love you. And I hope that you had a good dinner or a good lunch or a good happy Mother's Day breakfast, brunch, lunch, dinner, dinner, whatever. Um feast with your mother and enjoy your mother. And remember to always love and respect your mother. We only have one. And our moms, you know, our dads too, our parents, but our moms, speaking for the moms, our moms, that's all we got, like my daughter said. So um, you have to cherish them and 
thank God for them. I thank God for my mother. I love my mother. I talk with my mother. Um, so maybe one day I can have my mom here and then I'll be here with my daughter and I don't know, maybe we can all get together and get on video together. I may see if I can work that out later on. Um, hopefully. <clears throat> So, um, love you, Trendset again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, do not forget to click that notification bell so you will know every time I upload a new video. Okay? So, love you, Trendset again. And see you on the next video. Yeah!